Hello, I'm going to do the Sagittarius Capricorn Connection. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. I'm going to pick two different tarot card decks for each, well, one tarot card deck for Capricorn, a different one for Sagittarius. We'll get some clarifiers, and then we'll close out with some Oracle. Um, we're going to start, I felt the need to start with the Whispers of Love cards as an overall energy for the two of you. <coughs> also, you have the power to change my life by watching my video all the way through, by liking and subscribing, and I appreciate anything and um, everything that you do for me. I, I truly do. Um, it makes me really happy and gives me the strength to continue on. All right, so for your overall energy for the two of you, we have ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So maybe the two of you are struggling. Maybe the two of you are going through something right now. Um, maybe... I kind of feel like maybe one of you is not communicating properly. One of you is holding back something. Um, maybe one of you is struggling. So let's pull some cards. I definitely felt drawn to do Sagittarius and Capricorn today. So I definitely feel that there is a message for someone out there. And again, this may or may not be your day for a reading. Okay. So we're going to start with Capricorn first. We have the lovers. All right. Five of wands. So it looks like the two of you are going back and forth about something. Um, being patient and compromising. All right. We have the devil, which is the Capricorn card. We have Four of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have Six of Cups, we have the Hermit, and we have the Emperor. Okay, Temperance is also Sagittarius, okay, and that's towards the Sagittarius side. So I definitely feel like the two of you are struggling with something. Okay, so let's see which deck... I think I wanted this one. All right, this one flipped over. Six of Pentacles sharing. Six of Pentacles is sharing, so I feel like maybe it's Sagittarius that you're holding back something. We'll see what else pops out. We have the Star card. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Magician. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the World card. We have the Two of Cups. Oh, we have the Five of Wands. You both have the Five of Wands. And we have the Eight of Swords. So I definitely feel that Sagittarius is the one that's holding back. You are the one that is not sharing. You are the one that's not communicating. You are the one that um, is struggling with something. Um, I do feel that Capricorn is also because you have the Four of Cups right in the middle, like you are just not interested. Um, I feel that you are being your Capricorn is frustrated because Sagittarius isn't sharing, Sagittarius isn't connecting. Um, I feel that the two of you are definitely f disagreeing. Um, I feel that Capricorn does care. I feel like you both care about each other, but I feel that you're at this, you're, you've been struggling with something for a while. Um, the two of you have not been connecting for a while. Um, I feel that Sagittarius does want to get to this happy place. Um, Sagittarius you know, has a connection to Capricorn because Sagittarius has two of cups. Capricorn has the lovers. Um, maybe this has been a toxic relationship for the two of you. 
Um, maybe it's just been a physical relationship for the two of you. Um, I don't feel that you're going to break up. I feel like you're going to get past this, but I feel that you have a lot of work to do. I feel for Sagittarius, you have the power, okay? You have the power to make the decisions to want to work on this. This is only going to work if the two of you want to work on this together. If the two of you are willing to put the effort in that is needed to get past this bump in the road that the two of you are in right now. Um, let's see. I'm feeling like we will clarify with these cards here. So let's all right so for the lovers we have the wheel so things are changing things are turning it's a new cycle for five of wands we have the seven of wands so standing up for yourself um, what is it that you want to do, Capricorn? What are the choices that are going to be best for you? For Sagittarius, for Temperance, we have success. So like I said, I feel like the two of you are going to be able to work this out. Maybe Capricorn is the one that needs to reach out to Sagittarius. Um, um, Capricorn needs to stand up for themselves more. Capricorn has to say your piece. Maybe Capricorn's been really upset about Sagittarius's behavior and Capricorn has to say something. Maybe Capricorn wasn't saying something and now is the time for you to say something. For the Capricorn card, we have the hangman. So it's about Capricorn looking at this relationship from a different perspective, about taking a step back and viewing it from a different direction. Maybe you're just frustrated with things and I feel like before you go towards Sagittarius that you need to step back and get some clarity before you you decide what it is you want to do because you do have this cup that's being offered to you. You do have this, um, I'm thinking of Ace of Cups, you know, um, this opportunity is being handed to you and I feel like this is sort of like the final straw. You're like, okay, either we work this out this time and we get past this or I can't keep doing this. Um, for Four of Cups, we have Page of Cups. That's that's what I was saying, is that I felt that maybe Capricorn has to reach out to Sagittarius because um, Page of Cups, um, you know, represents, you know, that emotional connection. Um, pages are young messengers, so I felt that Capricorn is the one that needs to reach out to Sagittarius for the wheel. You... Capricorn's got the wheel twice, um, and that represents the destiny card. It represents positive change and a new cycle coming in, and then on top of that, you have the world. So there are some changes coming in for you, Capricorn, with Sagittarius, and it's some positive changes because I feel like the two of you are going to want to work this out. Um, for Six of Cups, Oh, you got six of cups twice on top of each other. So I feel that this represents the two of you getting back to that happy place where you first met, um, where you first started, when you start, first started. I feel like when you first met each other, like you were really happy. Like you guys had so much fun together. Like you connected, you got each other. You just had this amazing, happy relationship and then something happened and then you became disconnected and that's why you want to fight for this is because you want to get back to this happy place you want to reconnect you want to get back to where you were um and you feel you you remember those happy times and that when you were connecting and that's where you want to get back to with sagittarius for the hermit card which is about going within and you know like i said with the hangman stepping back, taking that time to sort through your thoughts before you approach Sagittarius and maybe write those down so that you're not coming at Sagittarius and putting Sagittarius on the defense right away. Um, it's delayed, yeah. 
you haven't done this yet because it's been delayed because you need to step back and take that time to sort out your thoughts before you approach Sagittarius and the Emperor um, I feel is you have seven of cups which is a lot of thoughts and a lot of information but you have to narrow that down and the Emperor is somebody who knows what he wants and knows where he wants to go and knows what he wants to do and ha the Emperor has clarity and the seven of cups is not clarity so that's why I'm saying is that it's going to take you a little more time for you to step back make those decisions clear your thoughts clear your mind write those things down before you approach Sagittarius um, for six of Pentacles which is sharing we have the chariot and that's um, about moving forward this is what you need to do is you need to communicate you need to share you need to express yourself the star which represents hope Something happened that disappointed you, something that um, you were really let down by something. So Capricorn could have done something or maybe something didn't happen um, the way that you had thought and you were really disappointed, you were let down and the star that's on top of the star card and I feel like that's saying that there is hope, you know that you have to believe in that you have to want to work for that and when ten of cups is having that happy place you know that good strong bond and that connection and then we have the ace of cups perfect that's what I was saying is that I felt that there was a new beginning ace of cups is um, you know like with this cup here I was feeling the ace of cups and that that's what that was representing and that's about reconnecting um, and I feel that the two of you you both want to reconnect you just have to sort through this right now we have the magician and then yeah I definitely felt that Sagittarius I felt you were going to have the four of Pentacles come out because you are holding back you are keeping things to yourself you're not processing something you're not expressing something you're keeping this inside and you're not expressing this to Capricorn and Capricorn feels that there's something going on with you Sagittarius and maybe Sagittarius you're saying that everything is fine when it's really not fine and this is something that you have to come to terms with and that you have to you know express to your partner Capricorn because keeping this to yourself and sweeping it under the rug all the time that pile under the rug is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it just explodes and aces are new beginnings so I feel that you can get past this this ace of swords is right in the middle for you and saying that you can get past this um, yeah knight of wands and moving forward and making that effort and having maybe you've been afraid to express how you feel um, but that's actually hurting your relationship with Capricorn because Capricorn is closing themselves off and they know that something's going on and they're like I've asked you and asked you and asked you and you're not you're saying you're fine when you're really not and you just need to learn to open up more we have the world which represents you know success and victory and then we have the two of swords is making that decision you know um, making that decision is is this really what you want do you really want to work through this um, it also has the cover over the eyes so I feel like you have to look within to find those answers and take that time and you don't have all the information that you need yet you're still working on this we have two of cups and then we are uh, getting past this difficult situation with your partner um, I definitely feel that you're going to be able to get past this a five of wands we have the page of Pentacles pages um, is you know represent earth signs so that's Capricorn and page of Pentacles is about positive changes in life so I do feel that this is a turning point for you and Capricorn in your relationship and then on eight of swords we have the hermit and that represents Sagittarius needs to go within Sagittarius needs that time to think about things I didn't see the tower what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this third deck and we're going to go right down the middle between the two um, sides and see what we have um, you both need that time my thought was like I was thinking of a boxing ring and like you both need to go to your corners <laughs> 
and you need to really think about things and you really need to process things. All right, the fool popped out. The fool represents new beginnings, okay? When the two of you come back together, it's a new beginning, it's a new start, it's a new relationship, it's a new way of looking at things. It's making some big changes in your relationship. I definitely feel like the two of you, like I said, do care about each other, but you're at this awkward stage right now. You're not really sure what to do. Yeah. <laughs> you're not, re you're having, you have this opportunity right now to work things out, but I feel that the two of you just feel awkward right now. And we had the higher friend, um, which is, you know, believing in a higher power. It also is um, connecting with, someone a very a trusted friend you know maybe you both need to you know go to your corners and then um, maybe talk to somebody that you really trust and they can help you to sort your thoughts out and what you need to do but ultimately it's up to you it's your decision it's your choice on what you want to do in this relationship and if you want to work it out my feeling from this reading is that the two of you will work it out, but you're really kind of like in your own, you're, you're really like feeling like separated right now. Like you're really both frustrated with it and you're not really sure what to do, but you know that there's things that you need to do um, and you need to go to your corners and sort things through, bef you know, without doing things to, you know, having this five of wands where the two of you are going back and forth. And then you say things that are hurtful and then it just keeps the cycle going. Um, let's pull a romance angel. All right, that one just fell out. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level. And I feel like that's came out because when you get past this, your relationship will be at a higher level because the two of you have gotten past this very difficult situation. The two of you have learned to work this out so that when there's a situation that comes up again in the future, that the two of you will be able to work at it better and know have those tools to get past the situation um, instead of shutting down and not communicating that you know that okay there's something going on with my partner let me have my time to myself let me sort through my thoughts and then let's come together and let's communicate and that way you'll be able to hear the other person's side clearly and not be on the defense um so that's what i feel that engagement is representing here is that the two of you are growing and making this a stronger relationship you definitely have a lot of work to get through first um, but I do feel that the two of you care about each other and you want to work on this. Um, and I do feel that it's going to work, to work out and you'll be able to get back to that happy place, but it's like a new happy place. You can't go back. You can't go back to that, but you can get back to a happy place. And, you know, like the card says, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. And I feel like it's also be willing to communicate. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.